How's it going everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this pair of QCY T1 Pro wireless earbuds. And I'm not really much of an audiophile. My current pair of earphones when I'm at home is I use this pair of Skull Candies. Skull Candies are not exactly known for amazing audiophile quality. They're just cheap, durable stuff. This is what I use at home. And when I'm out, I use this pair of KZ ones. Now you're gonna be like, why am I comparing it to shitty earphones? If you're buying this pair, you're not the market for the expensive stuff, right? This KZ ones are an interesting pair. They're marketed as budget audiophile earbuds. We all know that that's just a marketing gimmick. There is no such thing as an audiophile grade uh, audio product that costs only around 22 US dollars. I bought them for a little over a thousand pesos, so that's around 22 USD. With this pair of KZ ones, I've had them for a year. I think I got them in late 2016 or early 2017. Sorry, they're not KZ ones, they're KZ01 ED9s. It's a mouthful. So this KZ brand, there's some upstart Chinese brand that's trying to sell these affordable audiophile grade earphones. They're not audiophile grade. Obviously, if you're an audiophile, you're gonna be like, what the fuck are they saying, right? But they're pretty good for mass market stuff. I mean, I would recommend getting these over your standard cheap Sony's and Panasonic's. I mean, if you're gonna get those brands, you have to get at least 50 USD and up or you know, the Japanese brands like Audio Technicas, those are also good. But if you're gonna get the cheap stuff of those, just get these. I'm gonna write the product name in the caption below. So these come, this nice box, they come with like extra ear tips. My hearing admittedly is not very good, so I don't really hear a thing. But it is true that when I use these, like people's voices sound richer than compared to these skull candies. But anyway, I just bring this up even though that's not the topic of this video because I'm gonna be reviewing another obscure Chinese brand, QCY. So this is gonna be my reference. Pretty good unknown Chinese brand, but it's wired versus this one. These two are more or less in the same price range. This cost me 2,000 pesos, which is around 40 USD, which is already the cheapest wireless earbuds you could get to today. Yeah, so they're around the same level. Obscure Chinese brand versus obscure Chinese brand, wired versus wireless. So the case serves as a kind of like a power bank charger for it. It says to pair it for maiden use, pull out both earbuds from the charging case, then reinsert them into the charging case to activate the two earbuds. One light turned blue, one turn, one stayed red. They're both red. I don't know what's going on. By the way, this is just Bluetooth 4.2. So my phone doesn't see it. Okay, this was supposed to be a very short and simple video, but it's turning out to be very complicated. And then I'm supposed to touch the multi-function button for five seconds to trigger pairing mode. Oh, now I see it. It's the QCY T1 Pro underscore right underscore R. So I click it and it says connected. And then I have to pull out the left earbud. I have to touch the MFB, AKA the multi-function button for one second, powered it on, turned blue, and the two earbuds will connect with each other. The LED will blink red and blue for one second. This part goes into your ear, obviously, and this little shark fin thing goes above. It kind of sticks out a little, you can see it. It works! I hear sound from both of the ears. That's amazing. However, there are some uh, little things I have to note. The multi-function buttons, they actually are kind of like a... They're not a hard button that you press down. It's like a surface that you swipe. When I was fixing my hair, I accidentally swiped it and I think it either pauses the song or... Well, it's a multi-function button. So yeah, I think one touch pauses it and plays it again. It's just not so responsive. So if you press it, it doesn't pause it right away. There's a lag. So I thought, what happened? So I press it again and then it paused. So you just 
tap it lightly and then there's a delay and it starts playing it's surprisingly loud i mean it's not as loud as this one according to this manual you're supposed to point the earbuds towards your mouth the microphone part is here but this is where the uh, led is so you're supposed to face it towards your, your mouth so the microphone is kind of like in the line of sight of your mouth okay i'm gonna record myself and so the audio you're now hearing is from the QC1T1 Pros. I'm recording it to my phone and I'm just going to drop the audio file into the track. So that's what you're, what you're hearing right now, me talking, that's from, that's from this. Well, that's how this pair of earbuds sound. Obviously, I know like it's not so accurate because I was just recording it through my... Uh, sound recorder. This is the QCY Q1 Pro case. These are the charging indicators to open the case. Voila! With this facing north, this is the left earbud. Well, you can't see it, but it says left. This is the right earbud. You can't see it, but it says R. Or can you? I tested it out in the field after I shot this video. Connecting to the earbuds again after being disconnected for a day took a while. It was not smooth. I also experienced audio issues during calls. Regular cellular, Skype, and WhatsApp. Either the other party could not hear me or I could not hear them. Listening to music was still okay outside. The loudness was alright, but the quality isn't so great. Kind of high-pitched. The kind of loudness that gives you a headache eventually. I'm not even that picky with earbuds, but even I noticed the drop in quality compared to my KZ01 ED9 ones, and those are just an obscure China brand. These wireless earbuds also become uncomfortable after 40 minutes. They also will fall out if not stuck in deep enough and you jump up and down. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next video.